Yo, what's up, YouTube fam? I'm Guy Rez, and we are back again for another dope episode on my channel. Welcome. So in today's episode, I want to share with y'all a new pickup from my personal figure collection. This one right here, guys, this character specifically, I'm very excited to share with y'all because it is a character that you don't see too often pop up in, you know, the figure lines of like Dragon Ball stuff. So I'm glad to, you know, that we're finally starting to see this type of stuff, but uh, big shout outs to Box Lunch. I got this from the Box Lunch website and they shipped it in about a week's time. But it's finally here, guys. And I have, as you can see, a super badass villain. This figure is none other than Cooler from the Dragon Ball Z movies. So this figure is still brand new sealed in the bagging. As you can see, it is a Ichiban Show figure and it is from the Master Lease Extra line, as you can see. I'm not good with the name, so I do apologize, guys. But, um, you know, let me do this unboxing with you guys because I'm very excited for this villain. For those of you who are wondering, you know, who are not really into like Dragon Ball like I am, uh, Cooler is basically, um, he was a villain from a non-canon film which was dubbed as Cooler's Revenge. And uh, I highly recommend checking it out, just watching Dragon Ball if you haven't. I think it's one of my favorite it's my favorite anime of all time and i think it's one of those animes that like everybody has heard of whether you watched it or not but just first glance as you could see you could see the artwork of the box right there and then of course you know you have cooler on the side 80s babies you probably think like yo is that super shredder <laughs> that was a reference that i always got as a kid and i i thought he looked like super shredder when i was younger as well uh but you know it's super dope i think cooler was very uh, underrated as a character. You know, I know his brother Frieza. Obviously, if you know Dragon Ball, we all know who Frieza is. But, um, you know, Cooler, man. Cooler was just, yo, he had such a much more menacing aura around him than Frieza did later on. Grab my old reliable, and as I've always mentioned in the past, be careful with these, they're very sharp. Whoa, this thing looks freaking awesome, guys. Just holding the figure in hand and looking at the size, just kind of judging by, it's a very tall figure. I wanna say like, maybe it's 12 inches, maybe a little bit bigger, but yo, this is freaking crazy, guys. So there is the body. So you can see what the figure looks like, headless cooler. This figure comes with a few uh, pieces. You know, it has his tail, Two, uh, three pieces to be exact. You have his tail, you have his head, and then you have the stand, which goes on to the figure. So, you know, this is really badass, man. As you could see, just putting his head on there. Oh my gosh, yo, look how freaking menacing Cooler looks. That is super badass, guys. And then the tail, obviously, you know, goes on like this. And just attach it on. There you go, guys. So really, you just snap on the two pieces, his tail and his head. And yo, this thing looks friggin' badass, yo. Look at the details on Cooler's face and the sculpt. Look at that menacing look right there of Cooler. I don't know if my camera could catch that. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, my camera's trying to focus, but look at that paint job. Obviously the purple, <laughs> which is uh, why a lot of people probably reference Cooler as freeze, uh, I mean, cooler as a uh, shredder. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it does, he does look like shredder, but yo, shredder look super badass in the TMNT um, series. But look at it, you see his feet right there. And my gosh, man, the alien cooler, space alien. Uh, this is a really dope figure, you know, there's really uh, not too much um, detail to go over. There's no opposable hands or joints or anything like that. It is just a simple figure that stands this is not meant to be played with obviously it is a collector's piece and obviously if you want to hold coolers um, foot in place I believe you just put this stand on one of his um, feet and it should hold so as you can see holds on like that and then basically just you just put it on and this figure man like I said first glance this thing has definitely got some weight to it. It is very heavy, guys, so you definitely don't want to drop him on any type of floor, especially if it is a hardwood floor. Um, you know, the tail, you know, is very detailed. The sculpt, you could see it. The paint job looks really good. You know, obviously, these figures are very, um, nine times out of 10, the paint jobs are really good. You know, sometimes they have a few blemishes, but yo, for the price that I got it for from Box Lunch, 
I got this on sale. I got this during like the box lunch money redemption thing. So um, really, I knocked off like uh, about twenty dollars on this thing. And um, the suggested retail on this figure, I believe, I don't know what the price is on here. Yes, forty-eight dollars and ninety cents in the United States. However, you know, knock off twenty dollars, so I got it for about twenty-eight dollars and ninety cents with like one dollar shipping. So um, the price, I think, is definitely worth it. You know, in my opinion. Um, and then just like the overall details and lore behind Cooler, you know, it's always a mystery. You know, obviously he was not a canon character in the series. I hope that will change uh, now that, you know, we are starting to see other characters from the movies become canon, like Broly, for instance. You know, obviously we see a lot of Broly stuff, but yo, this figure right here definitely gives me hope. And also, I don't know if you guys saw, but they are making now like other villains like Janemba, uh, Turles to, to name a few um, I think we are oh yeah we also see we're seeing the Android so yo I'm like geeking out right now man but like yo this figure y'all killed it with this one shout outs to y'all overall my final thoughts on this figure I like the fact that we're starting to see villains now because you know I know with a lot of the Dragon Ball figures you know we get the same characters all the time just doing different poses you know like Goku Vegeta Trunks Gohan uh, you know the Saiyans basically and we don't see enough of the villains and I know like diehard Dragon Ball fans like myself We want to see people like cooler. We want to see villains like Janemba We want to see villains like Turles, you know, and just to name a few and um, This is definitely uh, this makes me very hopeful and I am very excited to see uh, What lies in the horizon for these figures? Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up my review on this dope Master Lease cooler. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about the Master Lease line, the Ichiban Show figures. You know, let me know what you guys think about Cooler. You guys think they did a fantastic job with this. You guys uh, think they could have done better. Let me know what you guys would have liked to seen with this or if there was something that um, you would like to see other than Cooler, you know, and um, just let me know what you guys think overall about this figure right here guys i appreciate everybody watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and leave a like on this video i would greatly appreciate it guys definitely not the last figure review you're going to see from me i have plenty of other things in my collection that i have yet to share with you guys on the channel all right guys i think i took up enough of your time so your boy rez is probably gonna head on out of here but stay tuned i will be back very soon y'all one love we out Peace.